wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Tuesday, September 19th, 2017. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 4. It's verse number 29. Scripture says, And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. Friends, in this section of scripture here, it's early in the book of Acts, early in, in the early church. It was after the day of Pentecost, and Peter and John was, was out preaching and ministering in the, in the temple as they did, and they were arrested because they were teaching in the name of Jesus. And they were told by the religious leaders that they shouldn't preach and teach in the name of Jesus anymore, or something bad will happen to them and send them on their way. And now they're they're with the rest of the believers there and they're praying for boldness. And friends, that's a, a request, I think, and things I think we should be praying for each day is boldness to share the gospel. If we look back, here's a couple of other verses I wanted to look at along with this today. In verse number 13 of Acts chapter 4, it says, Now when they saw the, the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Friends, a key thing that I want us to focus on here is the last couple of words here, that they had been with Jesus. That's where they had their boldness from. They had their boldness from being with Jesus. They they knew the teachings of Jesus inside and out. They knew the miracles that he had done. And they were so excited about the resurrection of Jesus and about everything that Jesus had done that they were boldly proclaiming those things. They were boldly telling others about Jesus. These are men that, that didn't come out of the fanciest seminary in the world with a Ph.D. degree and calling themselves Dr. John and Dr. Peter. No, that's not what they were. They were normal, ordinary men. They were fishermen, if you remember. But they got their knowledge and they got their learning because they were with Jesus. Can other people see Jesus in you? Can other people perceive, like these religious leaders did, that you had been with Jesus? Friends, once we give our lives to Jesus, once we start living for Him, it's going to be evident, and people is going to see that. Do they see that you had been with Jesus? And then let's jump down to verse 31. Remember their prayer now, and Lord, in verse 29, and Lord, and now Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. That's the prayer. And look what happened now. In verse 31, And when they had prayed, the place was shaken, where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. Friends, God heard their prayer. And God answered their prayer by giving them the boldness that they needed to have. Friends, in our world today, we need the boldness of God. We need the boldness to go out and to share our faith. It seems as you're looking at Facebook and, and you see religious posts and Christian posts on Facebook and Christian businesses on Facebook, it seems that they're constantly under attack and we need to have the boldness to continue proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on the street corner, whether it's in the checkout line at Walmart, we need to boldly proclaim Jesus Pray and ask God to give you the boldness to share your faith with somebody. Are you ready to do that? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word. And allow God's Word to get into you. Then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.